In this video, I'm going to show you how to make objects flash colors in After Effects. Before we get going, keep in mind that this effect works best when your object stands out from the background. Alright, to start things off, I just added a video clip to a new composition. Let's duplicate the clip by selecting it and then using the Ctrl D keyboard shortcut. Then position the time edge where you want the flashing color effect to start. Drag the starting end of your duplicated clip to cut it to that position. Then drag the end of the duplicated clip to where you want the effect to stop. Double click the duplicated clip layer to bring it up in its own window. Before you continue, make sure your time head is positioned at the start of your duplicated clip. Then go up to the toolbar and select the Roto Brush tool. Click and drag to select the object you'd like to add the effect to. Use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in on the object if you need to see it better. If something gets selected that shouldn't be, hold down the Alt key to turn the cursor red and then deselect the parts you don't want. Now that we're done making adjustments, we need to tell After Effects how long it should track our object for. Under the video preview, you should see a little gray bar. Drag the ends of that bar so that they match up with your video clip. Now when we drag the time head across the duplicated clip, we should see our selection outline animate for its entire length. As you do this, you might notice that the tracking is off in a few spots. So be sure to go through each frame and make Rotobrush adjustments to your selection as needed. Once you're satisfied with your selection, click the Freeze button to finalize it. Next, let's go over to the Effects and Presets panel. Type Strobe Light into the search box and drag it onto your duplicated clip. We're done with the layer window, so reselect the Composition tab. In Effect Controls, change the strobe duration to 0.2 and change the strobe period to 0.5 to give it a quicker flash. Ok, this looks alright, but let's add some colors to make the effect look more vibrant. Position the time bit at the start of the duplicated clip. Click the stopwatch next to strobe color to give it a starting keyframe. Then change the color by using the color picker. Move the time bit to right before the next flash. Change the color again to create another keyframe. Keep moving the time bed before each flash and changing the color to continue creating keyframes. Alright, and now when I play this back, we have a cool looking flashing color effect on the dog. If you want to give your flashing color a more transparent look, click on the mode drop down box next to your duplicated layer and select the overlay option. Okay, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.